Barry County's new law enforcement center front and center at tonight's Board of Supervisors meeting. Before the Board of Supervisors met for the public meeting, right. they went into a closed session with the LEC authority in an effort to improve communication. During the closed session, they discussed the delays in the project and the status of the building. Mark Nelson, who is on the Board of Supervisors as well as the LEC authority, says progress has been made on the fire dampers as 35 have now been installed. Nelson also added he believes there is a very good chance of a lawsuit at some point, which has prompted the Board of Supervisors to seek separate counsel from the authority. The current attorney they have now was hired in, in August to, uh, to watch over the authority's best interests. But the way that these uh, contracts and leases are, are written, you know, there are certain things that the county could be um, um, damaged for that the LEC cannot um, claim or cannot go after for those damages. When it comes to seeking separate counsel, the board did turn towards county attorney James Loomis, who did give input. Loomis said he hopes the board finds an attorney that will work well with the board and the authority. Jody McDougall represents both the authority and the Baker Group, but Nelson believes there was not conflict of interest between the two. At this point, you know, after um, her reviewing uh, our circumstance and all the documents she uh, doesn't believe that uh, there is culpability there with Baker Group and and as we continue to move this process along that could change. I mean nothing's forever set in stone. When Loomis addressed the supervisors he says he would like to see unanimous agreement from the board on the attorney who will represent the board of supervisors.